You may have heard the saying, driving by the seat of your pants. Well, that's because a tight, form-fitting seat in one of these cars gives you tremendous feedback and feel for exactly what the car is doing. But in a modern-day IndyCar, the seat is much more than that. The seat is an integral part of the safety system or safety cell that protects a driver. These are made out of EPP foam or expanded polypropylene. This is a high density foam that's designed along with some foam that's placed inside the chassis. There's 1.2 inches underneath the seat, three inches behind the seat that all work together to tune to protect a driver in a maximum impact. Now, it wasn't that many years ago that drivers would cut corners. Imagine that. Drivers would want to get as low as possible in the car for aerodynamics or to keep the weight low, and they'd sit right on the bottom of the car. That, of course, exposed them to injury underneath. Now these pieces are mandated and are actually part of the car itself. But this technology continues to evolve because all these pieces were designed for maximum impact, a huge impact to protect a driver. But what about something that's not so major? Pounding over a curb on a road course or maybe on a street course, hitting a large bump? What about those intermediate impacts? This is now a brand new prototype that has two stages of foam. You can see it has a lighter color here. This is a low density, and this is higher density for lateral support. So this theoretically would be the best of both worlds. The way you manufacture these is a bit like it was done in the past, where a driver sits and takes a mold of his contour at the back. But instead of how it was done in the old days, then just laying some tape over that, that impression is now turned into a computer file that can be uploaded to a CNC or computer controlled milling machine to actually manufacture this piece from a solid piece of foam. So you're thinking, well, that's gotta be pretty expensive. It is. One of these will set you back $3,000, but of course, when you're looking into driver safety, that obviously is a worthy investment. Oh.